At the end of August 2021, the last U.S. troops left Afghanistan, but the U.S. presence still has a negative influence on the nation's economy. Agriculture, on which the landlocked country's economy is mainly dependent, has been the first victim of the war-ravaged country's economic sectors. Large areas of land where Afghans used to farm are now useless, as countless ordnance, including the bomblets of notorious cluster bombs, were left under the soil by the U.S. troops. An electricity generating facility, including several rows of diesel storage tanks in the southern city of Kandahar, has been abandoned and is no longer in use. Some roads the United States had built were bombarded beyond recognition by the U.S. troops. The dire situation worsened following the Biden administration's decision to freeze some $7 billion U.S. dollars worth of assets of Afghanistan's central bank. Weaponizing the dollar has resulted in rising prices, less imports of living necessities, and a paralyzed financial system in Afghanistan. With military expansion and coercive financial statecraft, the U.S. tramples the land of many sovereign states and wrecks their economies. It is laundering the wealth of the Afghan people and ensnaring the nation in a cycle of stagnation and decline.